Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to talk about Cyberpunk 2077. As you guys all know, patch 2.02 is finally out. The interesting thing is they've actually adjusted a few things that I feel were unnecessary, such as this one right here. Quote, crafting specs for iconic weapons will now disappear after crafting the item, end quote. This means we cannot craft the same iconic weapon over and over again, potentially using two SMGs or two swords or whatever the case may be. And so with that adjustment, it just seems weird because it feels like we're kind of in a multiplayer game, really, because why are you just removing these? Anyways, continuing on, we're going to move on towards the next part where they actually patch this glitch right here. Quote, fix an issue where it was possible to duplicate junk items, end quote. What's interesting is that this is not the only exploit that they were able to fix because they actually patched a few more things and I'll get into that. But I'm also going to be showing you what you can do after patch 2.02. So with that being said, let's start off with number one. We are going to attempt at the unlimited shard glitch. You can do this with pretty much anything and it also works with tier components, but it is quite tedious. What I mean by that is that you can do this, but it does take a few shots. For example, right there, this may happen to you where you stuff the body inside the vehicle, but then when you try to grab the items, it's not unlimited. What you can do is try this multiple times until you get it down right. This is why I said it's quite tedious and it's also a little bit annoying. So when you do get it down, it's quite easy because all you have to do is go back and forth and pick up the items. This thankfully does work, but it does take a few shots like I mentioned. You can grab unlimited money, shards, tier components, all that stuff after the latest patch. I'm going to show you another example here that I'm able to go back and forth so that you know that this is indeed legit. So we're gonna head back towards the same exact spot but at a different spot because I went towards the left instead of the right side here. Now I'm gonna go back and what you can see is that the items are still there. I can pick them up and grab unlimited money shards, euro dollars, and all that good stuff. Number two, the duplication glitch for pretty much any weapon works and the reason why I say pretty much is because you cannot drop iconics. What we're going to do is just drop a knife or a gun, whichever one you prefer. Whichever item you plan on duping, just drop it on the ground, and then you're going to pick it up and then pause the game. Try to do that quickly and then make a quick save, load the game back up, and if done correctly, you should see the item duplicate. This means you should see the item on the ground and one item in your inventory. There is a possibility where the two items may merge together when you pick them up, if that does happen, just do not worry because what you can do is call in your vehicle. You're going to then head towards the storage, which could be either at the front or back end of the vehicle. You'll then interact with the storage and you'll stash the items inside. You will notice that both of the items are going to be then pushed over towards the right side, which is going to be the storage. Then you can just select one of the items and push it into your inventory. Hopefully that makes sense. Anyways, we're going to move on towards number three. This next one is quite interesting because it has to do with the drop point. What we can do is turn a rare into a epic or an epic into a legendary. Or a tier 2 to a tier 3, tier 4, whichever word you prefer. What we're going to do is then grab the item off of the body. You do not need to pick up the body. For some reason I decided to do that in this video. But we're going to grab the weapon and we're going to head over towards the drop point. We're going to grab the weapon and throw it over here towards the right side. So. Let's just locate it right there. Once it's transferred, we can then exit out and we can make a quick save. When you load the save back up, you're going to notice that that blue weapon is going to be purple now. This is how you can then upgrade weapons easily. What you may notice as well is that on the right side, this machete did not upgrade at all. So that's okay, that can happen because what you need to do is just pick up a random weapon off of the ground or off of a body once you have looted it, of course, and then take it straight to the drop point. Easy peasy stuff, and that's definitely something that you can take advantage of. Continuing towards number four. This next one is the perk glitch. A lot of you have been struggling with this because when I did discuss this, I had all of my perks maxed out, and it just probably did not make that, that much of a sense, right? So what we're going to do is go over towards technical ability. I'm going to max this sucker out to 20. You can also see at the top here that I have 399 perk points. I'm going to turn this into 400. So in order to do this, I'm going to pick out a few of these perks just by simply tapping on them. Then I want to refund them quickly. So this means spam down the refund button as fast as you can. If done correctly, you should see at the top right there that I now have 400. It's pretty simple. 
but just continuously refund and it should work. This does work after the latest patch 2.02. .02. Continuing on towards number five, this next one is also kind of annoying because this is something that does work, but they've patched the spots to get to. So what you can use is the fortified ankles and the shotgun to pretty much launch yourself pretty high. That glitch works, but what does not work is the ability to go underneath Arasaka Tower again because they have officially patched the method to where you can actually spawn the vehicles anywhere. So for example right here I'm going to launch all the way up here and then you're going to see that I'm trying to send my vehicle over here by tapping down V and then I eventually say what the heck and then I try to hold down V to you know pop more vehicles in and regardless they've actually patched that as well. So you can no longer spawn any vehicle anywhere. It's just pretty much strictly towards the roads, maybe some dirt roads, but honestly there's no way to really spawn this anywhere else which really sucks. It's sad to see that they would patch some of these like harmless glitches and things that have to do with nothing really, but I guess they decided to do so. There's also this method right here which they've also patched which is the Compeki Palaza. You can no longer, uh, you can obviously go inside but you can no longer go towards the very top because you cannot spawn in the vehicles either. Obviously I'm going to show you how to get inside because it does work, but what you can do is just spawn the vehicles over here but you cannot spawn the vehicles inside the building. So over here, I'm going to spawn a vehicle, I'm going to put it next to the door, and then I'm just going to sort of wedge myself in between the gap there. Then the door will open up, and I can go inside, there's going to be the elevator towards the right side, and then you can go all the way towards the top, which is going to be like the penthouse, pretty much. And then, yeah, it's, it's possible to get to this area, but you cannot spawn the vehicles in anymore. This means you cannot pick up Satori or the egg if you happen to miss it. Which again, this seems like a pretty harmless glitch to patch, but they felt that it was definitely necessary to do so. And it's sad, because I know there's so many that have actually went past that area where you've left the egg, you left the Satori, you know, the katana at the top, then, yeah, you can no longer go back, and that sucks for you. But these things happen, I guess. Each company does a different thing, right? I mean, each developer does something wonky with their game, and this happens to be the same case. Especially with the crafting specs, that seems just ridiculous that you would actually lose your schematic for your iconic weapons. And as you can tell right here, we can no longer jump towards the top because that's patched as well. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Let's talk about the patches, talk about the glitches, and all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. If you have not watched the previous video about Starfield and the developers and all that backlash, I definitely recommend it. Again, thank you guys for the support and see you on the next one.